Hemp was one of the first crops planted in the New World. It was so valuable, settlers at Jamestown were required to raise it. Hemp is not new. Hemp was grown in the 1700s here in the valley. It was shipped down the river behind us on barges. So we're just bringing back an old crop and trying new things with it. Hemp cultivation essentially ended in the U.S. after World War II because of its similarity to marijuana. While they are from the same plant family, there are no psychoactive ingredients in hemp. Seventy years later, farmers and industry are trying to revive hemp as a crop in Virginia. In 2015, the Virginia General Assembly approved issuing licenses to grow hemp for research purposes only. Supporters of hemp say the opportunities are endless. So historically, yes, we used hemp to make sails, to make rope and other types of cordage. Um, but more recently, uh, scientists and the industry are figuring out other ways to use those fibers. And so, for example, in Europe, uh, they are taking the fibers and putting them into blow molds, uh, making door panels and things like that that have high degree of structural integrity um, and they're lighter in weight. Um, so that's kind of the fiber side. We're finding new uses for the fibers. But if you look at the seed from a human nutrition standpoint, it's very nutritious. It has a higher omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acid profile than um, than traditional grains do. Professor John Fike at Virginia Tech planted several hemp varieties at a research farm in Montgomery County. He says any concerns about marijuana growers hiding their crop in a hemp field are groundless, since they would crossbreed and destroy the potency of the pot. If you look out in Oregon, I think it is, there are certain counties where you know they've, they have allowed industrial hemp, but there are certain counties now where they're, they're making it illegal to grow industrial hemp because it is messing with the marijuana growers' uh, viability, shall we say. Thanks to $165,000 in grants from the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, hemp was raised on five Virginia sites in 2016. One of those was a cornfield in Rockingham County, where the owner already makes his own biofuel and was eager to take a chance on hemp. I've always had an interest in alternative crops, particularly energy crops. We grow canola as an energy crop. We crush it and make biodiesel. And hemp is another crop that is a, has a great potential as an energy crop. Right now we're harvesting the crop. Then we'll take the oil seed, we'll run it through a press. When we extract the oil from it, we'll convert that to biodiesel. The press cake that's left over will feed livestock. And then the stalk that's left in the field uh, we'll bail that and use that for animal bedding. Professor Michael Renfro of James Madison University was overseeing this research plot. On a hot September day, Rhodes and some friends were using a soybean combine to harvest their hemp. It went well at first, but things started to bog down. Renfro says that's all part of the experiment. Even though the seeds are mature, the stem still has a lot of moisture in it. And because it has that wonderful long fiber, those fibers tend to wrap around machinery. So um, that can be a challenge. So far we've been pretty lucky. We've had a few snags along the way where we've had to stop and, and clean some of the hemp fiber out. With so many options for using industrial hemp, there's a lot of enthusiasm among some farmers. But they must apply through the Virginia State Police and the Drug Enforcement Administration for experimental hemp permit. They cannot sell it for use off their farm. And it's very difficult to obtain hemp seed since it has to be imported. You know, a lot of people say this is, well, it's kind of, they treat it almost as, as if it's a miracle crop, right? Well, you know, no herbicides, no pesticides, no nothing. You know, we can grow it without anything. And that's just not true. Fike says the whole hemp harvesting and processing network has to be rebuilt. At the same time, growers are trying to find new markets for this old crop. And the General Assembly has to lift the ban on commercial production. So it could be a few years before industrial hemp is a valuable commodity in Virginia. Even so, Fike hopes there'll be at least several thousand acres of hemp grown in Virginia over the next five years. In Rockingham County, Virginia, I'm Norm Hyde.